What up, B-Squad? It is your boy, JB, and I am here today, you guys, with the season finale of Kiki Wyatt's World on WeTV. This is season one, episode six, and the episode is titled End of the Road, you guys. So um, before we go ahead and get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and then having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning your post notifications on, and sharing the video. And with that out of the way, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to this episode of Kiki Wyatt's World, shall we? All right, you guys. So this episode, it wasn't like a whole, whole lot. So I don't intend to be on here ex at that long to talk about it, you guys. But what I want to talk about with Kiki is ultimately Kiki is a very selfish person. Now, we open up the episode and Andre was talking to his, I don't know if it's his fiance or hu husband, but husband, fiance, boyfriend, Jerome, right? And Andre was telling him about the situation with Kiki at the studio and how, you know, he was telling Kiki about his tea tree, you know, his, his tree cape and all that stuff, right? And how she just basically flipped out on him. And so we, on the flip side, we see Kiki. So Kiki is talking to Lorna. And Kiki is telling Lorna how Andre was very weird. And I was like, he's weird. And then she once again brings up, yeah, you know, he wants to um, talk about this on my show. And I'm like, okay, Kiki, I definitely get it that this is your show. The name of the show is Kiki Wyatt's World, right? And so, yeah, the focal would be you. The draw to the show is you. But what I will say is throughout the show, I've gr I've grown to like Andre. I really have. I do like Andre. I Like I said, I do want Andre to do something different with that hair in that, in that confessional. But other than that, I like Andre. And on the flip side, Jerome is talking to Andre and telling Andre, when it comes to the relationship with you and Kiki, in a nutshell, Jerome was telling him that he needs to draw a line in the sand when it comes to Kiki and Andre. And it's so weird calling this man Jerome when... That is my middle name, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I agree with Jerome that Andre needs to draw a line in the sand where it comes to Kiki, because Kiki is going to continuously be disrespectful to him, especially remember he drew a line in the sand telling her that saying fuck you was disrespectful to him and he didn't want her to cross that boundary. He set that boundary, but she continuously steps over it and a person like Kiki, you got to show them that you mean business. That's how I feel it is going to have to be with Kiki. You got to show her that you mean business. Now, for me personally, like I said previously, I just would not be able to work with Kiki. She would be a no for me. And like I said, she's very selfish because she keeps talking about the fact that, oh, you know, I had my baby line and he didn't say anything about that. Once again, like I've said previously with the baby line, that's not up to Andre to do anything for your baby line. If that is something that you are hardcore passionate about, you will make all the necessary precautions to make sure that it is viable, that it can come to fruition and all that kind of stuff. You will have a you will have a plan of action like, OK, we need to go talk to this distributor. We need to go talk to this person. We need to go talk to this person to get this into the stores. We got to figure out how many, how you know, how much it costs to make this. You got to figure out you got to know the ins and out of your product. Nobody else is going to know that but you. And that comes from what? Hard work, determination, dedication, and putting in the work. And I don't feel that Kiki has done that. That is my personal opinion. So after that, you know, we see Kiki. So she went to the studio and, you know, they were talking to her about recording a bridge for one of her songs. And she was, you guys know how Kiki is with them faces. And she was just, and she was complaining about that i was like oh my god kiki will you please get in that booth and do what they're asking you to do like she made a whole issue out of it and watching this show has you know i still fuck with kiki i still like kiki's music right but it reminded me of how i felt with r&b divas with nikki gilbert and kelly price two people who i don't see it for but i still listen to i still listen to kelly price's music and I still listen to Brownstone, you know, um, if you love me, that's my, that's my, that's my jam right there. But I sure the fuck don't see it for Nikki Gilbert. I damn sure don't see it for Kelly Price, right? I don't see it for either one of them. And there was a, like another person on RBD was LA that I followed her journey when she was on X Factor, Stacey Francis. 
I liked Stacey Francis when she was on X Factor, but watching her on that last season of R&B Divas LA, she was a no for me. And I was like, you know what? Sis can sing the house down, but sis is a hell to the nod for me. Absolutely a no. Hell, even Lil Mo became, even Lil Mo started to become a, a no for me at, at certain points. Lil Mo was a little bit of a no, but I don't, Lil Mo wasn't as bad as, you know, Stacy and, um, and um, Nikki and Kelly Price. They weren't as bad as them. But we're going to pause here, you guys, and we're going to move forward. Next up, you guys, we see the family. So they went out bowling. And once again, like I've said, I think I've said it in every one of the episode reviews that I've done. I think that I've said this. Kiever's girlfriend. I got, I'm sorry, you guys. I've really tried with that little girl. She annoys the fuck out of me. That young lady annoys my spirit. It's something about her that just doesn't sit right. It's something about Kiever's little girlfriend don't sit right with me. I did not like the way that she was talking to them, them kids. That was one thing. This girl is 21 years old, according to them, because I know in one episode it says she was 19, but then in another episode it says she was 21. I don't give a damn how old she is. Do you not have a fucking job? Where's your family? Like, seeing Kiva's little girlfriend just, mm -mm, she's a no for me. She's a no for me. Where's your family? What do you do for a living? Why? Because it just looked like you living off of Kiki and her, and, and her family. Now, Lorna went and talked to Big Kiever, who is Kiki's dad, right? And so Lorna wants for Big Kiever to sit down and have a conversation with Kiki about her relationships. And I will say that when Kiki sat down with her dad, I absolutely loved that conversation he had with her. But I feel like it went in one ear and out the other because she is still on this thing of, well, this is my show and he wants five minutes. So he's trying to he's trying to um, take, you know, he's, he wants to shine. He wants to shine. And I love the fact that her father said to her, him shining bright doesn't dim your light. And that's my problem with Kiki. Kiki is so selfish. If this is somebody that you consider, your husband calls him brother. He calls your husband brother. So that means he looks at you as sis. And so if you guys look at each other like family, and your kids call him Uncle Andre. So obviously y'all have that familiar relationship why is it such a problem that he wants to promote his business on the show? Granted, I think that the business is kind of, you know, flimmy, flimsy to have a tree, a tea, a tree cake business. I wouldn't buy it, but there might be somebody out there who would be willing to buy it, right? It just wouldn't be for me. But here's the thing that I will say with Kiki. Yes, this is your show. Yes, your name is on the, on, on the thing, right? But you also share this show with them. Andre is on this show. Andre talks to the produ has a one on one with the producers. Kissy has a one on one with the producers. Raja has a one on one with the producers. Kiever one on one with the producers. Your um your kids have all of your kids have one on ones with the producers, right? Your husband one on one with the producers. Lorna one on one with producers. Everybody in, on this show has a one-on-one -on -one with the producers. So why is it such an issue for him to promote his business? That is, that's because it's, all, it's always got to be centered around Kiki. Nobody else can shine because Kiki's going to feel like, oh, you're trying, to, you're, trying to over, you're trying to overpower me. And like her dad said, that's not what it is. You can, you know, sometimes the light that's on them is bouncing off of you onto them. And that's exactly what this situation is. You are the name of the show. And so you have the light on you. You have to focus on you. But what you then do is take the light and say, hey, let me introduce you to my family. Let me show you what my family can do, i.e. the Braxton family values. That is why that show came into fruition, because Tony felt bad for years about her sisters not making it when she did. So Braxton Family Values was made for the family, but it was also for her sisters to shine and get the recognition that they rightfully deserve. Kiki is, like I said, she's so selfish. She can't see past her own selfish wants and needs to say, you know what, Andre, I love you, right? And if you want to promote it on this show, that's fine. You know, what, what, what day is it? Where is it going to be at? I'm going to be right there with bells and whistles on, cheering my brother on. 
Like, that's a real friend, right? That, that would be a real friend. But you're not a real friend if you feel what it is is jealousy. Let's keep it a book. Jealousy. Because this was my best friend and I was on the show and I'm the big name. And she said, hey, friend. I'm not going to say my first name, but she said, hey, friend, I want to put this um, on my I want to put this on the show. You know, how do you feel about it? I'll be like, girl, why are you asking me? How do I feel about you promoting something that you've been working on? That is a passion of yours, even if it's not a passion. And it's just something that she wants to do to make extra income. Girl, put it on the show. I don't care. What what day what day you filming it? What like what day you need me to be there for filming? Oh, you need to be there on this day? You ain't said nothing but a word. But no, Kiki can't do that. Because like I said, once again, it's all about Kiki and her selfishness. But let's pause here and move forward, you guys. All right, you guys. So we get to Kiki's listening party. And I will say Andre is a bigger and better person than I could ever be. Because there is just absolutely no way that I would have been at that listening party. Not a way in no way in hell. Not the way that she's cussed you out and the way that she's went off on you. Kiki would be kissing my ass. Like she would be, she would be seeing my ass back here from, she would have to be looking through a telescope to see me because Kiki wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be in her presence. I wouldn't do anything for her. I would tell her, you need to find new management because I'm not going to be disrespected like that. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't tolerate it. Now, so we get to the listening party. And so, um, he also surprised her with Faith Evans. She came near her. So they listened to the songs, and I will say my top song was She. I love that song. But then my second song was this, the song about, I think it was Me and My Ex or something like that. I love that song. And after, so the fans ended up choosing the song She. And then we later see at the in, um, next up, we see um, Lorna. So Lorna, Kiever, Big Kiever, and Raja, they are sitting down with each other, right? Now, Raja did tell um, Lorna that he loves her now what I will say in this scene I didn't agree with Raja I really did not I thought Raja was wrong because he was telling her how he felt things went with his birthday party and you know he told her that there's been some buildup of things over you know over the years I guess right and she feels that it's fate now you guys can disagree or dis you can agree or disagree with what I'm about to say it is what it is you can't, she cannot tell him what he felt has been built up, right? She can't say fake. I didn't agree with her saying that. She can say, you know, that's your feelings, but I don't think that I've done anything to you. Now, she did at one point ask him to point out, give her some examples of what she has said and done. He didn't give it to her. And so she wanted to apologize to him and he ended up getting up and walking out. I didn't agree with that. I absolutely did not agree with him doing that. When she asked him for the, you know, specific examples, he should have given her an ex a specific example. He said it in the house that she, he said it in the house when she called him an asshole the last time. So why can you just say, her Nana, so this is a perfect example. You did this to me. You said this to me. You did, you did this. You did that. Da, 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 da. And let her say, okay, I don't think that she would have apologized. But she actually, she wanted to apologize. So... Raja was in the wrong in this, in this situation. I absolutely think Raja was wrong. Now, she did say that she loves Haley, but there are things that she does dislike about Haley. And that's fine. And then the end of the episode, you guys, we get Kiki and Andre. So they were talking to the label. They told them what song the fans picked, that it was she. And so after that, they hung up. Andre wanted to talk about what happened in the studio. And Kiki did not want to talk about it. And I was like, you don't want to talk about it because you know you were flat out dead ass wrong. And that's what annoyed the hell out of me. Because once again, she continuously talks about the fact that you wanted to do this on my show. Now, let me ask the question, because I think he I think if I'm not mistaken, he has an EP credit on this show. So I don't know who presented this to WeTV, if it was him or if it was her. I don't care. Whoever. I don't care who pitched it at this point. The thing is. He's on the show with you. How, like, again, Kiki is just way too selfish for me personally. I couldn't work with her. I couldn't be friends with her because everything seems like it's draining and it's exhausting. And it would just be an absolute no for me. So at the end of it, they agreed that, you know, hey, going forward, maybe we should just be a business only relationship. 
And so Andre said, cool. And then he left. And I don't blame Andre. I honestly don't blame Andre. For me personally, it wouldn't be nothing. We couldn't have no kind of a relationship. We would actually know what scratch that. It would literally just have to be one of business. And that's all we could talk about. Because you can't continuously disrespect me when I've told you, I've, I've, I've asked you ample amount of times to not do it. So that's the end of the uh, episode and the end of the season. Now, do I think they'll get a season two? Probably. Will I be back for a season two? Yeah. It wasn't a bad show. It just, I hope that Kiki looks at this season and sees how she treated Andre and makes amends. Because when he left out, she started crying. I didn't feel shit for Kiki when she started crying because you did this to yourself. Andre has been, not, from what we've saw, he's been nothing but supportive of you. The man has been in your life for 15 years. 15 years, he was your assistant at one point, and now he's your manager. Treat, like, here's the thing. When you come in, no matter who you come in contact with, always treat people with respect. That is the ultimate, like, that is the most I can always say to people. I don't care what people do for you. I don't care if it's someone, when you go to, I don't care if they just deliver food for you, if they bring your, if they pick up your trash, whatever. Always treat people with kindness and respect. That is, it, the respect goes a long way. And Kiki lacks it. I just got to be honest. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, you guys. Turn your post notifications. Share the video, you guys. And until the next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.